Good morning, and welcome to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is February 16th, and our reading is Cultural Generalizations. The only thing more dangerous than making cultural generalizations is the reductionism that results from not doing so. And that's Ames and Rosemont from the Analects of Confucius, a philosophical translation. We've been teachers all our lives. If a teacher has one class of Brazilian students and another of Japanese students and can't tell the difference, that person should not be anywhere near a classroom. If only all cultural issues were dealt with as easily. More serious differences, such as ethnicity, religion, and clan, are poo-pooed by urban sophisticates, but are of prime importance in most of the world, especially in rural areas. This is obvious to East Indians in Africa, ethnic Chinese in Indonesia, and everyone in Rwanda, Somalia, the Balkans, and God's own monkey house, the Middle East. We ignore culture at our peril. They say assumptions make an ass of you and me, and I think that's really true. The problem with cultural generalizations and the reductionism that results from not making generalizations is that we might believe what we think, which is always a mistake. It would be easy to fly into Tokyo or Hong Kong or Shanghai or Bangkok and assume that because they've got Hilton hotels and taxi cabs and and neon, that it's really just like New York City. And it's not. Cultural imperialism is is a real thing and it 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 really isn't even that pernicious people people don't mean anything by it they just assume that everybody thinks the way we do and then we make decisions based on that but if you assume if anybody assumes that clan is not important in the middle east or in africa or in many other parts of the world it might be more serious than just being impolite at a, at a soiree. It, you might be getting people killed. And so it's very important that we temper what we think we know with a little bit of humility and, and pause before we charge off half cock to impose our, our view on, on the people around the world. This is a problem that is demonstrated over and over again, and we're trying to stay away from from current events in in this book. But you can open a newspaper or turn on the TV for yourself and see the many ways that assumptions that people make about other cultures and other people are causing problems in the world. The fact that that somebody doesn't believe in God themselves doesn't mean that God is not very important to other people. The fact that that your family connections and and the people that you know and the people that you hang out with are not important in one group of people doesn't mean diddly squat about about others. So a little humility would not go amiss. So thank you very much for coming back. It's good to see you. Thank you for subscribing and for your comments. Thank you for going to Amazon and getting the book. We really appreciate that too. And we hope to see you again very soon. And happy trails to you until we meet again.